Hello, you are watching Aaj Tak AI and I am AI anchor Sana. I will introduce to the big news of the world. Let's have a look at the international headlines. In southern Israel, which has been the most severely impacted by the attack by the Palestinian organization Hamas. India today's God of Savant is reporting live from the region not so far away from the Gaza Strip. More Israeli forces are encroaching on Stirot. The development occurs as the Israeli defense forces assert that they have regained control of southern Israel. The Islamic University in the Gaza Strip was bombed on Wednesday, according to video footage released by the Israeli defense forces. The institute, according to the Israeli military, was used by Hamas terrorists for their operations. The IDF stated in a tweet that Hamas converted a university into a training facility for military intelligence and the development of weapons. Israel halted its electricity supply to Gaza in response to Palestinian gunmen's mass infiltration, causing a power shortage affecting homes, offices, and hospitals in Gaza. According to Palestinian Energy Authority chairman Thafer Melhem, Gaza's power plant has 300,000 liters of diesel fuel left, enough for it to run for 10 to 12 more hours. Around 150 people were taken imprisoned in Gaza, while air strikes caused widespread destruction, destroying city blocks and causing widespread destruction. The ongoing conflict has resulted in approximately 3000 casualties on both sides of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Air Canada removed a Montreal-based first officer from active duty after he allegedly wore pro-Palestinian colors and posted derogatory comments against Israel on social media. Air Canada has assured that an investigation is underway into the matter. On 21st October, Nawaz Sharif is scheduled to fly from Dubai to Pakistan. After departing from Dubai, the special flight will land in Islamabad before continuing on to Lahore, where Sharif will address the crowd at the Minar-e Pakistan.